I wanted to bring you on, man, because you kind of like a voice for your generation. Fact. You're an entrepreneur. You've thank made you. your own way. You're a self-made cat, and no, I respect you. that. You're a businessman. I appreciate it. What do you want to see happen, man, with your generation? Because one thing I do know that we have to do, we have to stop the division, man, between the, the young and the old. And it's always been like that with the black race, kind of like you got the young cats against the old cats. You know what I mean? Yeah, be, I, I can speak for that because the young, the young, the young that we grew up, that I grew up with, they think they know everything, so they think they ain't gotta listen to the OGs. You feel what I'm saying? But when the OGs kick it, now you supposed to take heed to. I'm not saying take everything they say. Some shit they might say you don't want to with, but just listen to them. They've been there before. They was there before, so you gotta listen. You gotta take heed to it. You know what I'm saying? Like I did a movie with Master P. You feel what I'm saying? Like. And Master P used to tell me, you know what I'm saying? I used to be like, man, he like on some, he on some like old school, shit, new school. But you gotta listen sometimes because it works and it it makes you better, more successful when you listen. When you listen, that's what's wrong with us. That's why I listen to everything. That's why I changed my whole life. Like I used to be, I used to be the type of like all the hoes, like do, like spend all the money. I trickled myself down, man. I just got married. I got married. You know what I'm saying? I got married. I got a wife. I got a house. I I'm taking care of responsibilities that I never thought I could do because I listened. Because I listened to an older cat telling me, like, fat boy, it's time. It's time. It's time for you to change. Like, you doing all this, spending this money. You in a fucked up relationship, man. Start, start new. You know what I'm saying? I started new. I moved down. I moved down to um closer to Vegas, closer to Cali. You know what I'm saying? You've been in my house. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I moved down. I moved down here. You know what I'm saying? I, I got married with my wife like in November. You know, like you feel me? I'm out. She's pregnant right now. So it's like I'm changing my life for the better because I know what I want. I'm 26. I'm not getting no younger. I'm getting older. So that's what's wrong with the younger. They want to live that high profile, cool. Um, life, which is cool, it's good because I do too. But at the end of the day, you gotta start accepting responsibility because you're getting older. You're not getting no younger. You can't call mommy and daddy for. Shit. You can't. You gotta listen. You gotta really listen. So that's why I listen to OGs and stuff. But mm -hmm. these young out here is wild and buck wild. That's why they going to prison. That's why they ain't got no. You know what I'm saying no 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 job. They always asking for a handout. They always begging because they don't. They do. I'm not saying I'm not saying all of them, but majority of them don't have. They don't listen to the OGs. If you right. if you sit down and listen to open up your fucking ears and fucking listen, you you something could happen. Stop thinking you know everything. I don't know everything. I'm a listen. I'm a student of the game. Jay Z said he's still a student of the game. And Jay Z a billionaire. Yeah, so, for real talk, and that's the thing, so man. I think it goes like both ways because being a person that's in media, I have to know what's popping with y'all. So I have my son. I got you know my son is go to SC the one that I introduced you yeah, to. Yeah, he cool. Yeah. I just seen his Instagram, man. He dope, man. He dope. Yeah, I talked to him. I talked to my number oldest, eight, number know, eight, yeah, right? My son. Yeah. Go ahead, man. Do your thing. But you about to see? See now? See? Come on. Now see. This where a young come in, right? Because I tell my father this. Right. Nah, them cigarettes ain't good, man. I tell yeah, my mother and I know father, they ain't good for me. Don't do it. But I was in a light one right now. Nah, I don't light it. You smoke weed? No. I you don't quit. smoke weed? I, I don't drink. But I don't, you used to? I used to. Did, did, did the smoke ever bother you? Nah. Mine nah. ain't either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, let them be relaxed. And we, we go edit some of this, Brian. You know, you got to do your job with editing. But the, no, I wait so you don't have to work so goddamn hard. Mm. You know, you know what the thing. No, you can smoke. I was telling them we go edit that part out. You can go ahead and like your thing. Oh out. yeah. <laughs> no, that was just the. Oh uh, man, you it. smoke. Oh sh. You got a box of Newports over there. Oh, the, the, damn. The, see, the thing is, it goes both ways, man. We have to have a dialogue and an understanding with each other. You know why the relationship I believe with my sons and me is so cool, and I talk to them you and they little homeboys. Boy. You ain't putting nothing in there right No Molly or nothing, right? No, you good. You ain't going to be here shaking, man. Uh, I love you. You know you know the thing is, and I, and I believe, man, that- You know, uh, when they give you, say, you got to tell me you love, I love you, man. Do you love me? You can't, all right, cool. Sure. We sing the Barney song in this- You, you know what the thing is, man? We all have to listen to each other, man. Yeah. Because right. there's a lot of stuff, man, that's, um, you know, stuff changes, man. I talk, to, um, I talk to young people all the time, man. I used to run a youth football program, man. And like all of them kids I had since they were six years old to play for me, them was my son's homeboys, some of these yeah, dudes dope. in college now. So they come over to the house, man, and we sit and talk because I want to know what's on these young cats' mind. Yeah, like, dope, so what's going dope. on? Because I can get them some things. Um, I showed them about curbing their temper because I used to be quick to rev, you know what yeah. I mean? Be quick to put them hands on somebody, man, and, and that's just not it. You can't go out and put your hands on people. No. You get killed. You can't do that because at the end of the day, because like you, you got big ass hands, big bro. Like your hands bigger than this damn table. I'm like, damn, you got some big ass paws. You like, know, cause but you can't go. You like, 
us like like you, you know what I'm saying? If you go out pitch your hands, you're gonna be in jail. Yeah, for you real. You, wanna... off, you punch him up, bro, look at your hands, you got bare hands. Like them shits is like you hit somebody, you gonna fuck them up. You can't we can't do that, so we gotta understand that. We gotta uh we gotta trickle down, man, with our tempers and our attitudes, man, because they wanna see us in the system anyway, so you know and, what and, man? and that's what it's all about, man, because the thing is, man, we have to stop, we have to prevent us from giving these people the um satisfaction of doing what they need to do because I see a lot of brothers, man, they get pulled over by the police, right? And I see these videos all the time. Some of them, the brothers is coming correct, but all this stuff where as soon as the police pull a brother over, what is you pulling me over for? What the f is you pulling me over for? I ain't got to give you my I just ID. got pulled over before I came here in Burbank. I just got pulled over. Is that right? I just got pulled over. you a hard time? Now, they ain't really giving me a hard time, but I wasn't trying to converse with them because I ain't trying to go to jail. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I wasn't trying to go to jail in California at this time right now. So I didn't really say too much. I wanted to say something. It was on the back of my mind, but I didn't say nothing. Yeah, and that's really, man, like, like you know, like it's a, it's a scripture in the Bible, man. It says pride comes before the fall. Mm -hmm. Being prideful, running your mouth and, and stuff like that. Some situations, man, live to fight another day. The police pulled me over. I'm trying to make his job as easy as I possibly can. I'm keeping my hands because you got to understand with these cats too. They scared, man, because I'm going to tell you, I know some people personally out here that's with the business, mm. and they on their third strike. If they got them something in their trunk of their car, they, they not know. trying to go to jail. Let me, let me, let me. Yeah, I know a lot of convicts and criminals and shit like yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Smoking Campbell's. But I'm a, a, I'm a, I, yeah, I've, I've been smoking these since I was 18 years old. Jail. Damn. You went to jail too? Yeah, I got out of prison in 88. He made me lose my damn train of thought. No, I'm you was going to say something. What about? No, what I was saying is um, <laughs> I, got a, I got a bunch of, Brian, your job going to be hard as a mother this week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny as hell, man. <laughs> the thing is, what I was saying, man, you got a lot of brothers, man, that might have something in their trunk. Damn, they third strike. Police pull them over. They not going down with them. Now I know what I'm Now I know. If, if, if a motherfucker know he out there dirty and get pulled over by the police, it only makes it worse to do what you're doing. You can prolong your arrest, but you going to get arrested. Yeah. If you know you out there on some some backs in, the, in your you know, you, you just, motherfuckers got to find a different way how to get down. Some of us ain't crafty up here when it when it comes to street. But that ain't that ain't even the case. Sometimes you can go by what the police say. You can follow those rules. You can everything he asks of you. But they still you gonna get that one that's still gonna wanna fuck with you. Oh yeah, for sure. They gonna start this uh, stop resisting while you in the car all yeah. the way till they snatch your ass out. Well, you a after they know you got two strikes or before they no they 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 don't know if you got two strikes. So that's what I'm saying. Some cops they let don't you know. go. Some cops will let you go if, if you, they if they know who you are. Yeah, some got, if they I know, know some you, who got lucky. Yeah, they they give you that break. Yeah. But if if they don't know you, they only know what they punch up in the name that you give them, yeah. and all that sh come up. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. That's why they start asking questions. How many times have you ever been to prison? Do you got a gun in the car? Yeah. But but some of that is not the agenda for the day. They yeah. they want to rough you up. Some of them get a kick out of whooping your ass for the night. Yeah. Or how many motherfuckers they can whoop ass? Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I'm saying? And I know if they listening to this motherfucker, they're going to know. He right. Mm -hmm. I done got my ass whooped many a times. Handcuffed in the back of the car. Yeah. So, so a motherfucker can't tell me that they not dirty. Mm -hmm. A mother can't tell me that they don't get a kick out of whooping our ass. They get they a kick it. out of this shit. It's, part of, it's part of their it's part of the job. Mm -hmm. If you don't do it, some of them got initiation. If you don't if you if if you like that then like training day. Mm -hmm. You got some of them out there just like yeah. that. Ain't with that boy but then they turn in. You, you know them. what cops, you know what, you know what these cops get a kick out of whooping our ass? It's like, it's like to me, like, excuse my French lady, it's like them getting, you know what I'm saying? That's how they fit. They like, yo, this is my pleasure right here. This is my, like, I can do this, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to this this guy up, you know what I'm saying? Like, just you know for what? no reason. Police officers are just like us. Mm -hmm. Some been bullied, some lift weights to, to intimidate motherfuckers that they're arresting. Some of them been, been getting punked. 
from from day one. Yeah, they 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 was nerds in high school, and, and they now they become cops when, because they got authority. So now they could they could abuse your authority. Well, they can. They could abuse your authority because they did it with me several times. You got a badge with badge now. Yeah, they, yeah, I ain't all seen these Billy really bad motherfuckers. They used to beat me up. Yeah. I'm, now I can beat them up. Yeah. Now I can treat them bad. Now I know right. that for sure. You right. Because I had one with a with a mother that used to work at the at the plunge, at up at the park, and he turned out to be a cop. Then he turned yeah. out to be a mayor. You know what I'm saying? But I used to punk. The, ain't none of us paying to get in this yeah. mother. Now, now they think they deep, but when they when they there, you know what I'm saying? Nothing. When you love it, I'll be talking again. So mm -hmm. that's how I used to do, you know what I'm saying? Cop be down, say that When they leave, I talk all my shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, it, it shit happens, but it's a way to get around the bush, and sometimes it's not. But we are the, we the ones fighting the losing battle. I don't give a fuck how we get down or what we think we're going to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But here, here's my kicker. We out here doing each other hurting each other, and we see every other day how they treating us. Now there's a time for us to stop doing what we doing. Let's say unite. Even if we don't unite, you see you got some Bloods and Crips that's really getting together now and saying, f*** that. Let's stop using the word Bloods and Crips. Let's not identify each other by that now and just really show them. Like, 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 we tie, we tie, we tying flags with each other. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah, but and that's cool. Me cut being, that shit, cut it out the equation. Nah, that's a fact. Me being a crip, you feel what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's like at the end of the you day, you're a married gangbanger, huh? Yeah, you're a married gangbanger, of course, yeah. Oh. But like me, like you know what I'm saying? Me being a crip, you know what I'm saying? It's like you gotta understand at the end of the day, like we, like damn, it's hard to explain. Like we gotta come together right now. Like bloods and crips, crips and crips, cause crips kill crips, bloods kill bloods. At the end of the day, right. So at the end of the day, we gotta come together cause it's a bigger picture, it's a bigger cause. That's why you got you seeing a lot of crips and bloods tying flags, even though they don't want to, because you got some of the hardest sets that's beefing, that's tying flags. You like, damn, bro, like this is real serious. Like this is major. So at the end of the day, we gotta take heed on that and like show the people that we're together. Like no matter we got disputes, uh, uh, uh beefs or whatever, but you can't never knock a person beef if they killed somebody that you was really like you really loved or anything. But they put I seen I seen sets come together that's putting that shit past them and right, You got to, you got to. Like so yeah. at the end of the day, it's, it's commendable and it's and it, and, it, and I'm proud of them from doing that. And I'm proud of my my people, you know what I'm saying, all the Crips around America. It's, it's, what part of New Jersey you from? I'm sorry, Sam. I'm from Irvington, New Jersey. Irvington, New yeah, Jersey. Yeah, CNS. I'm from Chancellor Stuyvesant. And I do know in board. New Jersey they with the business, man. Shout out to my little brother, Glass Malone. Yeah. He got a whole bunch of homeboys from New Jersey, man. We went out there, man, like um, when he was in New York, the brothers he with in New Jersey, they sent them low riders and everything else for the video. Like yeah. we was in New York shooting the video, yeah. right? Sent them low riders over there and everything. And all these dudes showed up, like, yeah, about 70, 80 dudes showed up. I said, what are you Come from California, no New Jersey, right over the thing. So y'all, yeah, y'all get busy out there. Huh? Nah, of course we definitely do, man. Like I be, I be putting on for Jersey because that's where I'm from. So at the end of the day, you know, we got to show people different. Like these labels and these people don't want to with us because they only see New York. But we, I love New York too. Don't get me wrong, but like New Jersey is where it's at. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got a lot to offer to the culture, to the game, mm -hmm. to the people too. You know what I'm saying? So that's why 70, 80 months pull up because we just want to be seen and be heard and be and be just like you know what i'm saying not not be just like somebody but we want to be seen and be heard and give game to the culture too because we got a lot that's going on there that got to be publicized and uh televised too that we want to broadcast that is positive you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying because all you hear is from new jersey sometimes like killers no drive-bys like you know what i'm saying uh, um new jersey drive like still a car like that all the bad shit, but we got talented artists out there we got people that's really doing shit. We got young activists. We got philanthropists. You know what I'm saying? We got everything. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, that's all I be saying, man. Yeah, you really, you definitely, man, one of the um, young movers and shakers that I see out there. The thing that I always admired about you, man, is like I've been in this business for a minute now. The thing I always admired about you is that you run your own stuff. You ain't yeah, winning. I, it ain't no major corporation behind you. No, you know it's what I'm just saying? me. You know what I'm saying? I got I my movie. That. I got I got oh, three of my movies, my major box office movies, like on my own, like with my team. Like you know what I'm saying? I got a deal. I got a record deal with Empire. Shout out Gazi, name of all of them over there. By my like, you know what I'm saying? On my own, like you know what I'm saying? Like I had people with me, you know what I'm saying? But I got it like no major like 
mm-hmm. huh? Like you know what I'm saying? I use my numbers. Like yo, what's up? Like y'all gonna like what's up? I make music. I do this. I do acting. What's up? That's how you, like you feel me? That I know it's not the right way to do it, but that's how I did it. You know no, what but you know what? That is the right way to do it because I tell cats all the time. I get like man about fifty emails a day of people asking me like they want to get on right. Yeah. And it's like they don't have no clear cut plan. I'm like, dude, do you want to have a business? Or are you looking for somebody just to give you something? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you, trust me, you would be around a lot longer than these cats that just don't want to take the check. Nah, you're Believe right. that. Exclusives, unedited content, live streams with some of Digital Soapbox's most polarizing hosts like James McDonald and others. Sign up for your Digital Soapbox membership today. Packages start from $1.99 to $4.99 monthly, where you not only get exclusive content, but you also get it commercial free. Press that button now.